Nine months after vaccines against COVID-19 became available to Americans, President Joe Biden expressed frustration that millions still refuse to get a shot. My message to unvaccinated Americans is this. What more is there to wait for? What more do you need to see? Over 210 million Americans have gotten a first dose of the FDA-approved vaccines, which have proven to be highly effective at protecting against severe infection and death. But vaccine hesitancy remains high. Around 25 percent of those eligible for the vaccines have not yet received a shot. The real driver is misinformation on the Internet, spreads rapidly, scares people or convinces them that they don't need a vaccine because they can pursue alternative treatments. According to the Center for Countering Digital Hate, only 12 individuals account for the vast majority, 65 percent of anti-vaccine messaging on social media. That list includes Robert F. Kennedy Jr., nephew of President John F. Kennedy. But the man named as the most influential spreader of anti-vaccine information is Joseph Mercola, an osteopath living in Florida. He has made millions of dollars selling books on healthy living and alternative medicine. Posting doubts about the COVID-19 vaccine, he directs his followers to buy vitamin supplements to ward off the virus. I consider him someone who is making money by selling products that he fuels a demand for with false information. So you might say it's a scheme or a gimmick. Mercola has reportedly faced numerous warnings from the FDA for selling unapproved health products in the past. In 2017, he settled false advertising claims with the Federal Trade Commission related to tanning beds he was selling. Mercola has repeatedly denied spreading false information. With more than 1.7 million followers on Facebook, Mercola may be the most prominent person using false information about COVID-19 to grow his market for alternative medicine, but he's not alone. There are many others. You shouldn't be allowed to go out there and spread lies to large audiences in a plague. It's just unacceptable, and it ought to cost you your license. Kaplan and others are also calling on social media platforms to do more to stop the flow of misinformation. Misinformation many blame for leading to countless preventable deaths. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.